Investigators! Off the Hook by John Patrick Green. Investigators is copyright by John Patrick Green, and it's published by First Second, an imprint of Roaring Brook Press, a division of Holtzbrink Publishing. Did I get all of it? Under cover of night, a train speeds along a mountain pass. Tickets, 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 tickets. And also under cover on that train are the investigators! Oh. Mango, stop narrating. You're gonna blow my cover. Sorry, Brash. You know how much I like trains. I just got carried away. Remember, your cover is to keep the train running safely. But we're undercover because someone on this train carries a case with a stolen list of suit agents' names. So keep your eyes peeled for any clues. Clues to a suitcase? Right. Like I'm gonna find, hmm, a trail of breadcrumbs? Oh. And until then, maintain radio silence. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. So sorry. No, no, entirely my fault. Wait a sec, mm. you're a cracker dial. It seems nothing gets past you, Agent Brash. That's why I'm going to run the other way. Uh, Mango, <laughs> Crocodile was on the train and he has the stolen suitcase. Oh, I'll come help. No, stay there. Your mission is at the front of the train. What, Brash? Mango, I need you there in case Crocodile doubles back or has sabotaged the train. Or if- <laughs> Oh, looks like you're beaten. What a shock. If what? Brash? Brash? Brash! Hmm. Huh? A drone? Stay at the front. Stay at the front. Stay at the front. Hmm. I'm coming, Brash! Pardon, coming through. Don't mind me. Oh, my tail. What? Hmm. <gasps> well, well, well. Agent Mango. Let Brash go! I don't think he'd like that. You've got two options. Save your partner from falling to his doom, or stop this train before it plummets off that bridge. Beep. Huh? Beep. 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 <laughs> There's not enough time to do both, so choo choo choose wisely. What do I do? What do I do? Forget about me, Mango. Your mission is at the front of the train. No, I won't let you die, Brash. Oops. Ah! Brash! Later, Gator. <laughs> Mango, why'd you jump after me? Now you won't be able to stop the train in time. Ah, <laughs> 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 huh, just in time. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Uh, uh, the breadcrumbs! Cracker Dial must have sabotaged the emergency brake! <laughs> ah! Kaboom! Ah! Uh, huh? <laughs> Ow! Simulation failed. Ah! Darn it! Deep inside suit headquarters. <sighs> Mango, you've run that training simulation a dozen times and you still haven't gotten it right. It's not fair, Brash. It's a no-win scenario. Even if I let Crackerdile kill you and I get to the front of the train before he bombs the bridge, the brakes are out and we all go over the cliff anyway. It always ends the same. Everyone dies and Crackerdile gets away. Have you tried not saving me or stopping the train, but just capturing Crackerdile? But you're my partner. You'd die, and so would all the passengers. True, but you've got to think about the greater good. Crackerdile is a threat to thousands, maybe millions of people, maybe even the whole world. No matter what happens to me or the people on that train, if he gets away, the mission is a failure. What do you mean he's a threat to thousands? Last time we saw him, he was a pile of mush that probably got washed out to sea. I don't even know why I'm training to stop him. Hmm, you're right. Crackerdile isn't a threat anymore. But if you can't beat him, what if there's a villain even more dangerous than a former agent turned radioactive saltine cracker? Plus, there's more to learn from this simulation than just how to stop Crackerdile, like how to make tough decisions in the heat of the moment. 
Sometimes there is no good choice, but you still have to make a choice. Yeah, I guess you're right. For the greater good. Who comes up with these scenarios anyway? That would be me. Ah! Mango, you know cilantro. You and she were junior agents around the same time, right? Yep. Oh, I don't recall seeing you. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Not seeing me is the whole point. I'm a chameleon. I can change my skin patterns and colors mm. to blend in with my surroundings. It's a skill that would make me the perfect field agent. <laughs> mm. But it does also come in handy when thinking up spy scenarios to test other agents' skills. Ah, there you are, Gators. What is it, Sea Orb? I have an urgent update on... Oh, hello, cilantro. I didn't see you there. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm kidding. I'm a giant unblinking eyeball. I see everything. Everything. Mango, this says we need to head to the science factory, ASAP. It's about the Bill Plungerman case. You mean the case of the missing plumber whose arm was combined with a snake, <clears throat> giving him grappling hook powers? Uh, we've been trying everything to find him. I even set alerts tracking every social media hashtag I can think of. Hashtag plumber snake, hashtag snake plumber, hashtag snake armed man, hashtag man tailed snake, hashtag arm snake, hashtag snake arm, hashtag what's snakin'. Ahab! You're also late for your appointment with Sven Septopus in the arms division to try on the prototype vest he's developed. Right, new vests, then onto the science factory. Thanks, C Orb. Come on, Mango. Uh, why always vests? Why not something like a trench coat? Trench coats are way cooler. So mysterious. You can never tell if someone's a good guy or a bad guy if they're in a trench coat. We're good guys, no matter what we wear, Mango. But we are investigators, not in trench coatigators. That doesn't even make sense. That morning in the city. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, wasn't there a Yo, Vinny? Is it just me, or do we have less stuff than we did a minute ago? <laughs> Welcome back, hook, line, and slinker. My favorite and only member, uh, members of my evil team, Tailblazers. Our mission, the total annihilation of idiot law doers. <laughs> now, let's take a look at your latest haul, a lamp. Not sure how it fit in that sack, but okay. A VCR, small potatoes, scented candles, useless. A microwave. You can't bake bread in a microwave. Even if you could, it wouldn't taste any good. And who knows what kind of effect microwaves would have on the radioactive waste that courses through my veins. If I even have veins, bah, none of this junk will help me cracker dial be restored from this bucket of dough back to my crispy crackery condition. <sighs> Not that that crummy carcass was ever all that it was cracked up to be. Before huh? I was cracker dough, I was a cracker. Before that, I was a crocodile who fell into cracker dough. And before that, I was oh. an agent of soup named Daryl. And oh. my partner, Agent Brash. Oh. I'm Bill Plungerman, a plumber. This tool is a drain snake. I've named mine Slinker. It's a robot ghost. Combine. M my arm. Hey. Are you even listening? I'm trying to tell you my origin story. Sheesh. Wha- Where am I? Where? Ah! Hmm. Now that you mention it, this vacant lot really doesn't make the best base of operations. I'll certainly want uh, a nicer uh, place for all uh, my stuff. Uh, <sighs> and if I expect people to join my team, I better have a base that's grand. Epic. Grand. Epic. Yes. Well, I'm glad you agree, hook, line, and slinker. We can fix my doughy disposition later. Now, let's find Tailblazers a new secret lair. 
Mango and Brash have a new mission! To head to the science factory to find out what happened to Bill Plungerman. But what they don't know is that Bill Plungerman is actually Hook, Line, and Slinker, who is secretly working for Cracker Dial, who seems to be in a lot of deep dodo. As his useless body sits in a bucket, they search for a secret hideout to start their evil organization, while Mango and Brash begin their investigation. Will Mango and Brash be able to crack this case and save Bill Plungerman from Cracker Dial's grasp? Will Cracker Dial ever get his body back? The investigators face their biggest challenge yet, and this is just the beginning. To find out what happens, you can follow the link in the description below to get your own copy of Investigators Off the Hook, or go to your local retailer or bookstore and pick one off the shelves today. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more updates on investigators and books like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.